I'm Meeting House Alliston and welcome to this week's update video. I'm uh, out having a walk because walks are really important if you want to prevent going stir crazy. I'm sure many of you know that. Uh, and I happen to be at this place. I know you're very familiar with it. And it's just reminding me of you guys and how desperately I want to be back in person meeting. But in the meantime, here are my top three highlights for the week. And I wonder, do you want to go on the walk with me? All right, let's go. All right, number one, across the street, Jesus people. Every single time I do one of these video updates, I want to hone in on people within our church family who are extending the peace and love of Christ to those around them. And this could be their neighbors or their friends or their families or coworkers, pretty much anyone uh, in their sphere of influence. And this uh, video update, I want to focus on the Conrads. I'll start with Yvonne Conrad first. Yvonne Conrad is an ESL instructor at Lakehead University, and she works with international students to help them gain more confidence uh, in things like public speaking or interview prep, um, resumes, and everything in between. And, and obviously with her position, she has been able to build really good relationships with her students. And her students are feeling a lot of what we're feeling. We're feeling maybe homesick, we're feeling lonely, isolated, confused, and Yvonne has seen this as an opportunity to come alongside and to care for them, to comfort them and help them navigate during this time. I think that's really incredible. Uh, the Conrads in general have been uh, extending uh, an arm of comfort to a neighbor who recently lost her husband three weeks ago, and, and I can't imagine how difficult it is to try and process uh, grief during this time. And, and basically what they've done is they've said, we see you, we hear you, and, and we're available uh, if you need. And so they've been checking in on her. And again, it's just a really good reminder uh, for us as a church community to steer into uh, this crisis and bring the peace of Christ um, into it. Yeah, really good. So thank you, Conrads, for doing that. We appreciate it. Number two, Good Friday and Easter. Uh, this Friday is Good Friday and we will continue with our live stream experience. The service is going to be at 10 a.m. and you can go to themeetinghouse.com to find out all the service details. Uh, we'll also have our Easter celebration service or our Resurrection Sunday at 10 a.m. as well and it'll be a live stream experience. And I'm really excited for what they have planned. Um, I've got sneak peek on the, the theme and I think it's just spot on to what we're experiencing. So for Good Friday, the theme will be alone and for Easter, it is going to be all one. So for Good Friday, the idea of being alone is to hone in on the unloneness that Jesus experienced and that we are experiencing right now. And then for Easter, reflecting on the resurrection and, and some of the implications of the resurrection. One of those implications is the fact that uh, we are brought into God's family, that we are all one, uh, and that is beautiful and so needed for the time in which we find ourselves, so very excited for that. Number 2.5, we want to mix two more things into our Good Friday and Easter experience. For Good Friday, uh, in the newsletter that we are sending out, you will receive a recipe for unleavened bread. As you know, unleavened bread is a symbol of trust within the biblical plot line. And it reaches its culmination, reaches its sort of pinnacle and climax when Jesus in his in the Last Supper breaks the bread and says, this is my body broken for you. And he is completely flipping the script on the historical sort of understanding of unleavened bread that the Jews would, would have come to mind. And uh, for them, unleavened bread was a symbol of God's deliverance of them from the, their slavery in Egypt. And here Jesus is saying, my death and then ultimately my resurrection is going to bring a different type of deliverance and freedom for you. And although it's a beautiful mystery, I, we get the opportunity of experiencing that mystery every single day. And for Easter, we want to invite you to a Easter lunch. So right after our service on Sunday, we're going to meet together through Zoom at noon. So go and get all of your food ready, 
put your laptop or your tablet or your phone on your table and then come join us and you'll be joined with many other people from church and it'll be a great opportunity to just have a really informal after church chat uh, over a nice meal number three generosity uh, a big thank you to all of you who have just chosen to be so generous during this time a few weeks ago we sent out a letter as a church and specifically as a board to let you know that during this time we will be uh, very responsible uh, for monitoring carefully our financial situation and we also asked for people to go online and to start donating that way uh, and you have responded so well so many people have shifted online and have given and given generously we are so grateful and, and it's actually really shown so uh, we have seen a 13 percent increase in givings uh, compared to last march so we are giving 30 percent more this march than we did last march and again that speaks very much to uh, your desire to press in uh, into generosity and to uh, not steer away from it but to actually make it a part of uh, who you are as a person as you follow the way of Jesus so so grateful for that thank you all right that's it for me hey thanks so much for checking out the update video and for joining me on my walk I hope to do this again soon take care everyone